<laughs> I'm tired. We have three more videos to record. Oh, no. Help me. <laughs> Good morning, Reptilians. Welcome and welcome back to the channel. I'm Elle. And I'm Den. And this is Elle's Reptiles. This week's super quick video is going to be us showing you how we made our Hobbit Hole inspired hide or the Snake Discovery build off. We tossed around a few ideas, but uh, the Hobbit Hole was definitely the uh, one we wanted to go with. Uh, we had a lot of fun making it and uh, hopefully we're going to make another one in the future. Yeah, so we can put in one of our tanks because one of you guys, maybe, or someone, I don't know, whenever Snake Discovery opens their zoo on Labor Day weekend, one of you guys will be getting that tank. Please send us pictures we yes. want to see what you put in there before we get into this how to this video is sponsored by iHeartGecko, so make sure to stay until the end of the video to find out all about this super cool sponsor let's get started we found these really cool pvc ends at uh, home depot i think it was from here i'm just taking the dremel tool and i'm just cutting out the bottom it's it's not a step that's uh, necessary since we were building this for a burrowing species i figured it'd be best to leave the bottom cut out so that way they could burrow underneath it but like I said, I used the Dremel tool to uh, cut this open. Probably wasn't the best tool, but it's what I had and uh, it seemed to work. It left some weird little burnt marks, so I just ended up sanding those off. It was no big deal. Now it's actually time to start shaping the hide. So for that, I just used some spray foam that I think I also got at Home Depot. All I did was just coat it with a layer of spray foam. Now this stuff expands, so I probably didn't need to use nearly as much as I did, but I get a little carried away. As you can see here, it's not really sticking to the back too well, so uh, one way to uh, remedy that is you could sand down the pipe beforehand, but I ended up just kind of smashing it all together and just spraying on top of it, and that seemed to work really well for me. Now for one of the most tedious parts, and that's cutting away all the excess foam. I was really regretting using as much foam as I did end up using, but I just ended up taking a razor blade to it and cutting away. One of my favorite methods is to cut a little bit and then kind of rip it away and I really feel like that helps create more of a organic natural look. And now it's time for the silicone. This is an aquarium safe black silicone. This is actually the same one that we use for backgrounds in tanks. We are just going to put this right over the foam and smear it all in. This is going to seal in the foam even though the foam is completely safe but it's going to seal in the foam so little claws don't mess the foam all up and this is going to provide a substance for the cocoa fiber to stick to. This is just normal cocoa fiber. This one is Eco Earth I think. We've also used Thrive brand, Josh's Frogs brand. It doesn't really matter what you use, but you're just going to put it on there and pack it in. It's very, very important that you make sure that this cocoa fiber is completely dry because if it's not completely dry, it will not stick correctly. And you also want to make sure that you are doing this in small sections because if the silicone dries too much, it won't stick correctly. So small sections and just pack that very dry eco earth in. Out of everything, this is definitely the most time consuming part. However, this is going to, again, make it a lot more durable, a lot more sturdy. And also this is going to make it completely waterproof. This is silicone. This is a thing they use to hold fish tanks together, which is gonna be perfect for the more humid animals that are gonna go into this tank. Here you can see that the insides are still white. So I wasn't really a big fan of the way it looks. So I ended up just taking some uh, old shellac we had and just painting it on to the inside of it to kind of give it just a little bit more of a natural looking color. The best way to do this is to uh, just apply a light coat, let it dry, and then come back and apply another light coat and let it dry. If you don't do that, it ends up to start like, I guess, clumping, like little thick areas of pooling, I guess, is what you'd call it. And then it's like really dark in some spots. I had a little bit of an issue with that because I get a little impatient sometimes. And after that inside is all coated, I am just going back between the crevices of where the PVC meets the foam just to kind of seal that in as well. Make sure that there are no empty spaces. I don't think that foam will mold or mildew or anything since it's made to close cracks in houses, but I just wanted to be super, super safe. And of course, we're also going to be coating the entire bottom in silicone and a light layer of Eco Earth as well, just to make sure that the whole thing is sealed. So at this point, I'm just using some spray on shellac. I don't know if it was necessary, but I was hoping it would just kind of help with the dirt, I guess, adhesion. And this was the final product. We failed to get any footage of us putting the sheet moss on, but it's just sheet moss that is held in place by more of that black silicone. We just kind of broke it apart and put it on top and that was it. Aww. 
And that is it. That is how we built that super cool hide. Super easy, pretty fast to do, and fun to make. I guess it was kind of fast. So it wasn't the most cost effective. We wanted to throw a little extra into it for the uh, competition. So we did. And we just had so much fun making that hide. Like when the uh, competition went up and the, the polls were running through, we, held, we, we took that fourth place and uh, we held on to it and it was amazing. Yeah, we're super proud mm -hmm. of our fourth place. Yeah, yeah, I mean, I'm, I mean, cause we went up against some very talented people. Yes. Very talented, so. So many beautiful tanks. Uh -huh, like I, I, I really felt like, when, me looking at those tanks, I really felt like they were all so good that it was just gonna come down to personal opinion on. The elements of the tank? Yeah, well, like what you're personally looking for. But man, they just, they just turned out so well. It was such a fun competition. Is it too late to put our names in for the, to see if we can win it? Like, you want to go back to Minnesota? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Can you imagine just us in there, like, raveling for our own tank? <laughs> I just throw, like, 20 tickets in there. We're going to take this home with us. As I said at the beginning of this video, this video is sponsored by iHeartGeckos. iHeartGeckos is a wonderful company that makes conversion kits for your old tanks that you may have laying around. Turn them into front opening tanks. Those conversion kits are insanely easy to install too. There's a lot of ventilation in these tanks and they are super heavy duty. They don't yellow like some plastics do and they don't scratch up. Ours has been set up for quite a while and we still love it so much and the plants are doing really good in there. If you do happen to order one of these really cool kits, make sure to put Els Reptiles in the How Did You Hear About Us box so they know that you guys are coming from here. Thank you so much to iHeartGeckos for sponsoring this video. So if you like this video, make sure you like this video, subscribe, and hit that bell for notifications so you don't miss any of our future content because it is awesome. And thank you. Oh, do you want to do oh, it? Can we mimic it or mimic it? Can we echo it? What were you about to say? I was going to say thank you so much for watching. Have a fantastic day. Oh, let's try that. At the same time? Yeah, just this is going to be chaos. <laughs> and thank, thank you so, so much, much for watching. watching and have a fantastic day. Yeah. <laughs> and th <laughs> thank, thank you so, so much for watching, watching and, and have, have a fantastic, fantastic day. day. <laughs> Bye. <laughs> show you guys how we built our hobbit hole. Is that what it's called? Hobbit hide. Hobbit, hobbit hide. Hobbit house. Google. Discovery build off. Because you have to say words too. <laughs> I don't know what I'm supposed to say. <laughs> Let's get started. Okay, is that the one you want to get with? <laughs> I'm just asking. Is there something wrong with it? <laughs> All right. And thank you so much for uh. And thank you so much for iHeartGeckos. I and thank you so much. Make and sure thank you, you like this video. <laughs> so, oh yeah. So, wait, wait, this is gonna be. You know what I mean. So you can do this. Is as a Wednesday video. You can do your. Um, oh, this is my Wednesday video. Yeah. Oh okay. So you